You're tuned into Vol State 8.5 WVCP. I'm Christian McGuire, and here's what's happening. Governor Bill Lee addressed the Mental Health Trust Fund has been renewed for $250 million to help students diagnosed with mental health illness. One in five children has a mental health diagnosis each year, and more than 60% of children who receive mental health services do so in their schools. And so we have made the decision together to propose a K-12 mental health trust fund in our state of $250 million. Governor Lee explains that more than 60% of children have received mental health services in their schools and hopes Tennessee will become a top state in mental health service with the trust fund in place. Jemai Moore, risk manager of Gallatin City Government, has provided a promotion for the Prima 2021 virtual conference. We explore public risk trends and topics from your industry peers and thought leaders. While the format is different than in years past, the benefit of engaging forward-thinking educational content and one-on-one networking remains the same. Prima Virtual Conference will feature new educational tracks and virtual business exchanges through live video chat June 14th through 16th. The Tennessee Wildlife Agency is urging kayaks and paddlers to remain safe during the boating season. Wildlife Officer Eric Anderson states these extra precautions are due to high state records for boat trafficking, which has caused more boat accidents. Gallatin will host a tree sea pickup at the water treatment plant April 24th from 9 a.m. till noon for the Plant and Tree for Tennessee program. This will be a statewide event to grow 20 thousand trees in one day across the state. Another option to order seeds for $2 is going online by greeninterchange.org. You're up to date with your local news. I'm Christian McGuire and you're listening to Vol State's 88.5 WBCP.